I don't got the words enough. <laughs> Probably you get the idea that I love you. <laughs> Something is bad in you. You bet your life something is burning. The footman slammed the carriage door and crushed her finger in. Oh. Yeah, that poor finger. And because she knew how distressed I should be, she never uttered a sound, but bore the agony unflinchingly. And I knew nothing about it until I got home. The only time I hate democracy is when one of you mongrels forget where you belong. A few illegal dollars and a clean shirt and you move across the railroad. I didn't I didn't know know what was going on and he went so quick that well, you know, those things happen and gosh, I'm I'm sorry about it. We're gonna get him back. I grant you I am no beauty, but under this exterior you'll find a very Flower of man. Look, you suppose I'd let anybody stand in my way? Oh, oh. Well, I don't know how I'm going to go through this. Who can take a horse to the water, but you can't make it drink? Oh. I don't know. I suppose it's got to be done. Give him a nightshirt. His Majesty's nightshirt. Behold the walls of Jericho. Uh, maybe not as thick as the ones that Joshua blew down with his trumpet, but a lot safer. You see, uh, I have no trumpet. Now, just to show you my heart's in the right place, I'll give you my best pair of pajamas. Uh, do you mind joining the Israelites? Put it there, Danny, me boy. Put it there. What did I tell you? What did I tell you, Bartley? There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you, Dad. There isn't anything I wouldn't do. Come and have a drink on that. <laughs> if you men are still skeptical, if microbes are still a myth to you, then listen. One drop of this rabies virus on the slightest patch will kill a man. And I hold enough in my hand to wipe out a whole city. He, he'd leave me this hurdy-gurdy that his grandfather leave him. He'd teach me how to fish, how to sail a boat. He'd give me arms and hands and feet feeling good outside, and he'd teach me how to feel good inside. My father do all this. He have 17 other kids beside. What else a father do? Well, this boy saw his mother being brutally beaten by a drunken father, so he took a gun and killed him. Suppose a man kills because his wife's been unfaithful, temporary insanity, but an 11-year-old just a savage. I know the world's changing, Dr. Ralston. I've seen the old traditions die one by one grace and dignity and feeling for the past. All that matters here today is a fat banking account. You're trying to run the school like a factory for turning out money-making machine-made snobs. I don't know. I, I can't understand how you can have been married to her and still know so little about her. Can't you? No, I can't you. <laughs> I have the hiccups. I wonder if I might have another drink. Certainly. Thank you. Well, I'm as much again killing as ever, sir. But it was this way, Colonel. When I started out, I felt just like you said. But when I hear them machine guns are going and all them fellas are dropping around me, I figured that them guns was killing hundreds, maybe thousands. And there weren't nothing anybody could do but to stop them guns. $10,000, you can go back to wherever you go. That money will go back with me as it is. And if it does not get back, it is because I will not get back. How oh, would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a mule? 
You were lying in your bed looking at the window. Little daylight's coming through. And you start to wonder, is it getting lighter? Is it getting darker? Is it dawn or is it dusk? That's a terrifying problem, Nat. Because if it's dawn, you're dead. The bars are closed and the liquor stores don't open till 9 o'clock. And you can't last till 9 o'clock. And I'm sure you'd all agree with me if I said that now's the time for all of us to stop all this nonsense, face facts, get down to brass tacks, forget about the war and go fishing. But I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to sum the whole thing up in one word. <coughs> My wife doesn't think I'd better sum it up in that one word. <laughs> Here is your husband, like a mildewed ear, blasting his wholesome brother. Have you eyes? You cannot call it love, for at your age, the heyday and the blood is tame. It's humble and waits upon the judgment. And what judgment would step from this to this? What devil was that thus has hoodwinked you? Oh, shame, where is thy blush? If hell can rise up in a matron's bones to flaming youth, let virtue be as well. Oh, Hamlet, speak no more. But this time, I'm going to fool somebody. I'm going to stay in this race. I'm on my own, and I'm out for blood. Now listen to me, you hick. Listen to me and lift up your eyes and look at God's blessed and unfly blown truth. And this is the truth. You're a hick. And nobody ever helped a hick but a hick himself. Your name is like a golden bell hung in my heart. And when I think of you, I tremble. And the bell swings and rings. Roxanne. All the channels we've lost, all the twisting and turning we've done. We may come out back where we started if we come out at all. We've always followed the current, what little there is of it. I don't mean nothing with this river. This river's crazy. Crazy as I am. I sent a man up five years ago for murder. He was supposed to hang. But up north, they commuted it to life. Now he's free. I don't know how. Anyway, it looks like he's coming back. What do you think the chances are of getting out of here? And let's say you make it to Switzerland. Let's say to the States. So what? They ship you out the Pacific, slap you in another plane, you get shot down again. Only this time you wind up in a Japanese prison camp. That is, if you're lucky. Well, I'm no escape artist. You was my brother, Charlie. You should have looked out for me a little bit. You should have taken care of me just a little bit so I wouldn't have to take them dives for the short end money. Well, I had some bets down for you. You saw some money. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Oh, Marty, put on the blue suit, huh? Blue suit, gray suit. I'm just a fat little man, a fat, ugly man. You not ugly. I'm ugly, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. Marty. Ma, leave me alone. When I was a boy, world was dead the spot. What was so was so. What was not was not. Now I am a man. World have changed a lot. Suddenly you realize you're nearer the end than the beginning. And you wonder, you ask yourself what the sum total of your life represents. What difference your being there at any time made to anything. Or if it made any difference at all, really. Why did you do it? I don't know. I'm made in a certain way and I can't change it. It has to be the dark, you see, and strangers because... Stop! Stop! Back in line, you dog! <laughs> It's a mighty hard climb, but I'm on my way, on my way, glory, hallelujah. Where's the responsibility of those American industrialists who helped Hitler to rebuild his armaments and profited by that rebuilding? Are we now to find the American industrialists guilty? 
No, Your Honor. No. Germany alone is not guilty. The whole world is as responsible for Hitler as Germany. In this country, our courts are the great levelers. In our courts, all men are created equal. I'm no idealist to believe firmly in the integrity of our courts and of our jury system. That's no ideal to me. That is a living, working reality. Jetzt dummen Sie sich, aber machen Sie schnell! You hold on one minute. You just hold on one minute. I mean, I ain't no nun. I'm nobody you can boss around. See? I get up when I feel like getting up. And if I don't want to work, I don't work. Now, if you just pay me, see? All right, Eliza, say it again. They rhyme in spine, stays mainly in the plain. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Didn't I say that? No, Eliza, you didn't sigh that. You didn't even say that. <laughs> Cassidy, cut your throat. We robbed old number seven and you wasn't there. Drinks, drinks on the house. Head of you old hacker. We got money. And a trained guard, hair all over the six foot five of them, kneeling in front of me, a praying. Kid, kid, please don't kill me. Ha <laughs> ha. So what would you do? Cut a great road through the law to get after the devil? Yes. I'd cut down every law in England to do that. Oh? And when the last law was down and the devil turned round on you, where would you hide, Roper? The law's all being flat. This country is planted thick with laws from coast to coast, man's laws, not God's. And if you cut them down, and you're just the man to do it, do you really think you could stand upright in the winds that would blow then? In the meanwhile, you just killed yourself a white man, just about the most important white man we got around here, and picked yourself up a couple of hundred dollars. I earned that money ten hours a day, seven days a week. Colored can't earn that kind of money, boy. Hell, that's more than I make in a month. Now, where did you earn it? The doctors wanted to do some tests. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot. I went to the library and I never seen so many books in my life. Don't forget the clinic tomorrow night. No, I'm going to write it down on my blackboard twice, I promise. I mean to kill you in one minute, Ned, or see you hanged in Fort Smith at Judge Parker's convenience. Which will it be? <laughs> have a yellow bastard sitting here crying in front of these brave men who've been wounded in battle. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Don't admit this yellow bastard. Nothing wrong with him. We won't have sons of bitches who are afraid to fight stinking up this place of honor. You're going back to the front, my friend. Yeah, but this could be it. This little candy store guy, he's put on a big show in a fancy nightclub. With no home. narcotics connections, they were all over him. And then on our own, after working a whole day and night, we tailed him to Brooklyn. And we sat on him for practically a week. Now, who do we come up with? Joe Weinstock, for Christ's sake. Now, you got to let us have it. I never wanted this for you. I worked my whole life. I don't apologize to take care of my family. And I refused to be a fool. Dancing on the string, held by all those big shots. I want to see Lena Horn at the Cotton Club. Your Billy Holiday, you seem fine and mellow. I want to be in love with something. Something. I'll let you in on something, Tom. I have a great fear of pain. I would rather go like that suffer for a long time. Oh, how Annie suffered. Jesus, I mean, you guys do nothing but complain about how you can't stand it in this place here, and then you haven't got the guts just to walk out? I mean, what do you think you are, for Christ's sake, crazy or something? Mm -hmm. Well, you're not. <laughs> you're not. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressmen, because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. 
I like to cook, so I will use the kitchen whenever I damn well please. And I am very particular about my condiments, so keep your salt and pepper to yourself. Plus, I play the guitar in the middle of the night whenever I cannot sleep, and I meditate every morning, complete with chanting and burning incense, so if you've got to walk around, I'd appreciate a little tiptoeing. Also, I sleep in the nude. <laughs> Shit, I'm not saying, man, this is an entertaining peewee. Not eating peewee. <laughs> I'm not eating peewee. Hey, come on, man. I need the job. Uh, let me think about it. I'll let Jack know when you get in touch. No, this is a one-day only offer, gentlemen. You saw my book, you know I can handle the work. I'm willing to take a salary cut. The only thing is you're gonna have to let me know today, not tomorrow, not next week, not at the, the end of the holidays. If you really want me, you make your decision right now. How much gasoline costs an eyes your age? 12 cents a gallon. Is that a fact? I didn't even know they had gas back then. What are you, a couple of nitwits? Think it's funny being old? My old goddamn body's falling apart. Sometimes I can't even go to the bathroom when I want to. But I'm still a man, let me tell you, and I can take on both you punks. Over. Here we go. The function of a civil resistor is to provoke response. And we will continue to provoke until they respond or they change the law. Mm -hmm. They are not in control. We are. Mm, that is the strength of civil resistance. Let me know if you always will want me or if you wander into another R. A or A7. G. Let me know what you decide, dear. Astounding. It was actually, it was beyond belief. These were first and only drafts of music. But they showed no corrections of any kind. Not one. Her maid has prepared her a foam bath. The star takes a towel and wraps it around her hair. Like a turban. Her fingernails painted a rosy peach. She unfastens her taffeta nightgown and lets it slide smoothly down her thighs to the tiled floor. I think you're a choker, kiddo. 500 bucks says you choke right now. Why don't you take a walk, asshole? Anybody want to bet 500 bucks the kid chokes? Come on, Eddie, what are you starting trouble for? I'm not starting any trouble. Come on, any takers. Eddie, I'm going to leave. Any takers. This guy's a jerk. You want to go for a thousand? The richest 1% of this country owns half our country's wealth, five trillion dollars. One third of that comes from hard work, two thirds comes from an inheritance, interest on interest accumulating to widows and idiot sons. And what I do, stock and real estate speculation. Maple syrup is supposed to be on the table before the pancakes. We haven't ordered yet, Ray. Of course, when they bring the maple syrup after the pancakes, it'll definitely be too late. How is that going to be too late, huh, Ray? We haven't ordered the pancakes yeah. yet. How is that going to be yeah, too We're going to be here the entire morning with no, with no maple syrup right. and, 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 no, and no toothpicks. I'm definitely, definitely not right. going to have my, my, my pancakes without, without, right. without, without. Ow! Oh, yeah. I like you very much. And I like you, Christy. You have the heart of a poet. No. Oh, well. What? <laughs> Your wife is laying in a coma. You, you don't even make a pretense at caring, do you? Of course I care, Alan. Just I don't wear my heart on my sleeve. Let's call it a night, okay? Okay, guys, so. As you wish. A 
census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Would you like to learn to tango, Donna? Right now? I'm offering you my services, free of charge. What do you say? I don't see a case. I have a case. If you don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you, that's correct, I don't. Well, thank you for your time, Counselor. I don't know if Mama was right or if, it, if it's Lieutenant Dan. I don't know if we each have a destiny or if we're all just floating around accidental like on a breeze. But I, I think... Maybe it's both. You can never, never ask me to stop drinking. Do you understand? Hey, baby. What about a chew? Uh, chew, baby, sure. No worry. No worries. Bravo. Bravo. Encore. <laughs> oh, sock it to us, Liberace. That's enough. <laughs> well, my compliment to you is the next morning I started taking the pills. I don't quite get how that's a compliment for me. You make me want to be a better man. I am sick and tired of being treated like I don't exist. You two do whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do it, and I don't complain. All I want oh, is the same... Oh, you don't complain? Oh, please, excuse me. Excuse me. I must be psychotic then. If you don't complain, what is this? Yeah, let's, let's, let's bring in the laugh meter and see how loud it gets on that one. You don't complain. <laughs> Don't interrupt me, honey. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance this life or the next. I got 38 cases pending trial, 63 in active investigation, another 250 on the log I can't clear. I supervise five offices, that's five different personalities, five sets of problems. You could be number six if you act right. But I ain't holding no hands, you understand? I ain't babysitting. You got today and today only to show me who and what you're made of.
I did everything I could. Okay. I truly did. To your parents, come out to your friends if indeed they are your friends. Come out to your neighbors. Come out to your fellow workers. Once and for all, let's break down the myths and destroy the lies and distortion. There ain't no place for a weary kind. When you talk to yourself, do you stammer? Yes. Of course not. Well, that proves that your impediment isn't a permanent part of you. What do you think was the cause? I don't, I don't know. No, I don't. I don't care. Yeah. I, I stammer. But no one can fix it. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. That's a rule of mathematical reasoning. It's true because it works, has done and always will do. In his book, hmm, Euclid says this is self-evident. Germany, they got this dextran sulfate. All right, and they got this DDC in France supposed to keep the healthy cells you got from getting the HIV. And they got AL721 over in Israel. How can I get some of this? None of those drugs have been approved by the FDA. Well, screw the FDA. I'm going to be DOA. What, I got I to sue the hospital to get my medicine? So what next? Prove it. Prove with a single equation that time had a beginning. Wouldn't that be nice, Professor? A one simple, elegant equation to explain everything. <laughs>